Now, if you want to go around boasting to each other about how good you are, <laughs> then go right ahead. But I strongly advise you, do not boast to God. Imagine this. You are standing in front of God Almighty at the judgment. I'm talking about the one true God, the one who created the whole universe. Then you have the nerve to say, Look at me. I'm a good person. I went to church. I gave to charity. I did good deeds. I deserve heaven. I earned it. In fact, I'm so good, I didn't even need your son, Jesus. Is that what you believe? The Bible says, God hates pride, arrogance, and self-righteousness. You do need Jesus. Everyone needs Jesus. Because He is the only way to get in good standing with God. So far, I have established that we have all sinned. Now I realize that some people have sinned more than others. But the number of your sins is not the issue. Any sin at all prevents you from eternal life in heaven. And I realize that we all have our different varieties of sins. But the type of sin is not the issue. Any type of sin disqualifies us from heaven. The fact is, we will all die. We will all be judged guilty. We cannot save ourselves with our good deeds. We are all on our way to hell, unless somehow we get saved. That is why I am talking to you right now. I have good news for you. The Bible says, You can be saved from hell by the grace of God, through faith in Jesus Christ. Have you heard the song, Amazing Grace? I want to tell you why grace is so amazing. If you were given something wonderful that you did not earn, that is grace. But the amazing grace I'm talking about is the fact that Jesus Christ died on a cross for your sins. Jesus said, I came to give my life as a ransom. A ransom is a payment made to set you free. But the Bible says there is only one way you can receive this grace. It is a gift from God through faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior. So you need faith. The Bible even says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So if faith is that important, then what exactly is faith? Most people tell me, faith means that they believe in God. But that kind of faith will not save you. Because the Bible says, even the devil and his demons believe in God, yet they tremble. <laughs> if that is the kind of faith you've got, then you are no better off than the devil and his demons. The only faith that will give you saving grace is to believe on Jesus Christ as your Savior. The Bible says, you must put on the Lord Jesus and trust Him completely. So, what does it mean to trust Jesus completely? If you were in an airplane that was uh, about to crash, it would not be enough to simply believe in the concept of a parachute. You must put on the parachute and use it if you are to be saved. In that same way, you must put on Jesus and use Him for your salvation. You need to trust Jesus, depend on Jesus, and rely entirely on Jesus for your salvation. <clears throat> but I've got to warn you, 
today there are many false religions that will tell you Jesus is insufficient. They say that in addition to Jesus, you must also join their religion, or attend their church, or confess to their priest, or worship their pope, or believe their Book of Mormon. Those are all lies from the devil. All religions give you a list of do's. They say you have to do, do, do. But Jesus said, no, it is done. When Jesus was dying on the cross, he said, it is finished. That means Jesus finished everything that is necessary for your salvation. Now listen very carefully. The Bible says, if you believe salvation comes by grace plus your own efforts, then grace is no longer grace. The Bible says you are canceling or nullifying the grace of God by adding any other requirements. The Bible says if you could save yourself by your own religious efforts, then Jesus was crucified and died for nothing. So you need to put all your faith and trust completely on Jesus. Nothing else and nothing more. When I trusted Jesus for my salvation back in 1986, all my sins were transferred onto Jesus Christ. Jesus willingly took my sins upon himself. And he willingly took my punishment upon himself. Then Jesus transferred his righteousness onto me. So right now, God sees me as a sinless, righteous man. The, God's, God, the Bible says, God will never remember my sins again. It says, God has cast my sins as far as the east is from the west. However, if you are not a Christian, if you have not transferred your sins onto Jesus then all your sins remain on you and the penalty for those sins will fall on you did you know that everything you do is being observed by God and God is taking notes even the secret things you do when you are all alone it is all being recorded in a book it is a record of your life.